I decided to get some really small brackets to hang my lights around here so I didn't have to deal with my stands. Not so small. I have a standard three-point lighting system that I use in this home studio that I sometimes film in. It's a key light, which is the brightest, and a uh, fill light, which is a bit further away and not so bright. And then there's a hair light above me. Let me show you. There's a fill light. There's the key light. And there is the hair light above me. Behind me I have a couple of blue bulbs hitting the screen to give it something, well, it just kind of looks cool to me. And then another, it's actually another LED light, which is just lighting up the back screen to give me a little uh, extra glow around me and separate me from the background. Let's turn these back on. Now, I decided I didn't want these, I have a stand over here with this light. I have a stand over here with this big light. I have a stand behind his screen coming up over the top with this big light. And I'm really a bit tired of having stands and things all over the place, um, including a uh, microphone stand uh, sitting right here next to me. So I went online and checked out um, what could I use just to mount these lights on the wall over here and the mic on the ceiling. And I bought what I thought was these little tiny things, um, which ended up being these monsters. Uh, they're metal, uh, quite heavy, not quite heavy, they're uh, pretty heavy, and they have this cool thing. They, they lift up like this to any position, they go all the way back around, and uh, I wasn't expecting it, but the throw on this is quite long, quite long. So what would happen is you would mount this onto your wall, this position, or this position, or this position, and then you would be able to have this thing, and let me pull this down so you can see the whole thing. And then you'd be able to undo this and adjust whatever angle you wanted that this thing was on the wall like this for your lights or whatever, lock it down, and then you'd be able to adjust how far this came out as you needed it. Let's lock that down. And then here you have a screw here and it has a standard, uh, what you would use this little quarter inch thing. Uh, it's a pin basically and most lights fit over this. Uh, I'll show you close ups on this, this little thing here and they, they lock down. I thought this was ingenious. I really didn't know they were gonna be this big, but they're awesome. I'm also gonna get one for the microphone, they are so far from the ceiling. I think I have nine or 10 foot ceilings in here. I think they're 10 foot at least. Um, so if I take this, lock it down, pull this all the way out, and actually run this up to the ceiling. Yeah, it's 10 foot ceilings. I'm sitting here with this right here. I'm able to adjust it and I can hang a microphone here and uh, get rid of another stand. So basically, using this bracket, actually using three of them, one for that light, one for that light, one for that light, another one for that uh, microphone, I can set up at least my home studio here that I usually film and work in, and I'm able to clear the floor completely of stands. Uh, the mic stand goes, that light stand goes, that light stand goes, that light stand goes, and then everything's off the wall. They're mounted on the walls and then everything's sitting up there. I can quite easily take the lights off. Um, I can quite easily adjust them for different situations using these. Um, I can quite easily adjust the mic, and when I want to, if I just want to clear out the room, all I need to do is undo this, fold them up against the wall, and I'm done.
The uh, links are in the description below. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. And what happens is these move up and down to, uh, they don't move up and down actually, unless you undo them.